Hey everyone, it's Spencer. I hope you are doing well. And today we are going to demonstrate how to install MongoDB in the Mac OS Intel based chip, right? Basically, if you talk about M1 or M2. So currently in my system, I have I have an M2 chip, but uh, it will work both for the M1 and M2. I have tried a few days ago, I tried to install MongoDB in a system, but uh, there are lots of issues out there. And on that time, I also tried to search on Google, YouTube, but didn't get a proper well-documented steps from that I can install MongoDB. So I faced lots of issues on that time. So I tried to just make a video on that thing so that you guys can also get benefited from my videos, right? So let's get jump into the video and start how to install MongoDB. So first of all, let have, let's if I search the MongoDB, right? So let's just click on the official website and they are offering lots of products in their website. But uh, we have to install MongoDB, right? Uh, as we all know, to use MongoDB, MongoDB is a two thing. Like uh, to access the database, first we have to run the MongoDB server, right? So if we click on a database and uh, so that we want to use database, that's why I clicked. And it's a very cool looking website. <laughs> that's what I see. And but there are not a proper way to uh, place where I can follow the steps, right? Actually, it has, but not have a directly access from the product section. So what I've done. I search MongoDB download Mac OS, right? If I clicked on the first link, so this is the page where they guide us to install MongoDB locally. But personally, I didn't get too much help from this uh, page. And I guess most of you guys also tried from this site. And unfortunately, you didn't also uh, get much benefited from this thing. So let's start uh, from the step by step process. So what uh, what I will do, let's suppose if I try open the terminal and I hope you tried as well in our system. So let's suppose if I tried the Mongo D, right? This is the server where, from where we have to start. And this is the Mongo cell from where we can access the database. So it says connecting to this Mongo, uh, this 127.00.1. Port number 27017 has failed, right? Because the server is not up, right? So what we will do, we will clear the message. And first we have to install the Xcode copy this command, paste it, right? So it says that command line tools are already installed, right? So this is not an error. This is a kind of basically warning message. So what we have to done, if there is a software update available in your system, so please update your system first. So let's suppose if I go to the system setting, right? And we can check whether we have a software update or not. Yeah, this is a software update, right? So you have to check whether is there any software update available in your system or not. If it is, then please first update your software and then after start installing the MongoDB, right? So most of you guys, what you are doing uh, till now, so this is also one step, this is a MongoDB uh, community download, right? So let's suppose if I click on the first link and uh, we will get a community server download files, right? Like version is seven and Mac OS ARM and package. What kind of package you want to install? We can download it and and there is a chance if you install and click 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 and finally it might get installed. I didn't try this. I tried from the brew, right? Brew.sh. What the brew.sh is a package manager who from where I, we can install lots of applications in our system. So if you didn't have a brew, then you have to uh, go to the brew.sh and copy this command and paste it on the terminal, right? I have already done that. I have already brew installed in my system. So I didn't go on that part. So I hope you guys have brew installed in your system, right? So what we and if not, then please go and install first. So then what we have to do, we have ran this command and it has some error message, not basically warning message. If there is a software update available, then please update it. Now brew has a huge package manager for applications. He knows about every applications. So what we have to do, we have to let's first of all type brew, tap, we have to tap the brew for mongodb slash brew. Right. First, we have to update our local brew so that he knows the about the current updates of the MongoDB. We entered and yeah, it's working. So running brew update, auto update. First of all, it will update the home brew and it gets updated, right? Now what we have to do, we have to install brew, install MongoDB minus community at the rate 6.0. Most of you guys tried either 7.0 or 5.0, but I am going to try install MongoDB community edition 6.0. Let's install it. I entered fetching the data, installing. It will take some time. So yeah, yeah, it gets installed. Now, if you want to check whether the MongoDB is installed in your system or not, so for, you have to write Mongo minus minus version, right? And see, it will give a huge file. This is a Mongo cell, MongoDB cell version 5.0.17. And this is the build info, right? Now we have to go to the another tab and we have to write Mongo and enter in the cell command. So we are still not able to 
connect with the server because we didn't started the server yet we have we only installed it right so to start the server what you have to write brew services start mongodb community at the rate 6.0 because our version is 6.0 enter so what actually it will do it will start the mongodb server now the server is started now if we entered clear right let's clear this terminal and uh, write mongo so yeah boom we are into the mongodb server right so so data basis right enter so yeah we have a four databases now use what db yeah so collections so yeah this kind of databases we have right now now if you, if you want to stop the services then do services what stop and uh, mongodb minus community at the rate 6.0 so yeah server is stopped right now if you want to connect with the mongodb compass now see we have a compass as well if you could try to connect with the mongodb compass now this is the compass and let's try to because this is the url where the local local database server is uh, up so let's suppose we try to connect it so yeah no connection error because our server is stopped right so what we will do we will start the server again database server again and this time we will try to connect with the server so this time your server has got connected and yeah we have a four database four basically collections in the db database right a students user this is my personal collections uh created during some projects so yeah i hope you like the video if you are still facing some issue then please let me know in the comments i will try to help you out and yeah subscribe the channel if you didn't yet thank you